Aquarius, welcome to your general reading for the month of August with Major Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. So this is a general reading for Aquarius, dealing with Aquarius, wherever you've got strong Aquarius in your chart or whatever brought you to this reading. There is a message here for you, so be open to receive. Okay. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. If you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Aquarius, God for you. The lover's energy, Gemini energy, choice energy. The original naming for this card was choice. So know that you've got a choice, Aquarius. You've got a choice in how you experience your life. All right. And the lover's energy is really the twin flame energy. And when I say twin flame energy, I'm speaking about your relationship that you've got with yourself and the rest of creation, the rest of the universe, with your higher self, with your soul, with your guides, your guidance, your angels, with, with source, you know, with the creator, okay? And when that relationship is beautifully balanced and it's healthy, then that automatically brings in that special person that we'd like to, you know, to share our lives with. But if there is one thing that you want to focus on during the month of August, my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius, it is... Um, maintaining or rather attaining and maintaining that beautiful amazing connection with spirit with source okay you may have dropped the ball here a little bit okay maybe your plate was a little bit full and you know maybe you've you've lost the plot a little bit here along the way it happens to all of us including you Aquarius you know it happens to all of us. Life is a little bit crazy sometimes um Schumann resonances you know throughout July has just been insane you know and that affects us because there's, there's such powerful upgrades and things that take place that sometimes it's just a little much to cope with because it's not exactly like we have the luxury of just sitting around all day and, you know, in a lotus position and meditating, all right? So you've been asking for a lot and you are beginning to receive a lot, you know, especially in energy you've received a lot and you're about to receive a whole lot more. And so it's, it's a little overwhelming in energy. So you wanna, you know, you wanna take things a little easy and breezy with yourself and chill a little bit Aquarius, all right? And you might be feeling that there's not enough time and things like that. And what I'd like to download for you from the creator, you know, in the perspective or, you know, the truth and perspective of all that is for your highest and greatest good is that you build a really good relationship with time because there seems to be a sense of like down those things happening, you know, just, just running around a little bit like a headless chicken. And even if you're just sitting there very calmly, it's going zoom in the mind, you know, it's almost like a Virgo. Sometimes you see them and they look calm, but inside it's like a storm. You know, so you might be having a little bit of a Virgo sort of like attack, a Virgo experience going on. So what I want to do is I want to download for you a good relationship with time so you can live your everyday life and, you know, um, your just 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 with your downloads and everything, you know, that's it's a little crazy at the moment. So what I want to do is I want to download that for you so you get a good relationship with that in order to receive that download, beautiful Aquarius. What you need to do is you place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath, you say yes, but you also have to write yes in the comments in order to receive the download, okay? Then you should be able to feel it. There we go. All right. You've got great potential here for everything to change in the blink of an eye. Everything can change in the blink of an eye here for you, my beautiful Aquarius. Okay. Let's see what else we have for you for the month of August. This card wants to come out. The world energy. This is a very powerful reading for you, beautiful Aquarius. You have come to the end of a generational cycle. A whole karmic cycle has come to an end. So especially if you've been doing a lot of work, you know, some people may have come into your life, some people left your life, maybe you needed to set some records clear and straight, whatever it is, a lot of ties have been tied up here. Maybe you've been sort of been silent all along and you finally spoke up, you know, you let people know how you feel. Um, and, and, and above all of that, I, this is a space where there's just so much peace available in your life, you know, and... This is the time to re to release and to be willing to just transition to that next level, okay? Because you are in this new dimension, and in this space, um, because you you know like there's different dimensions of earth. So in this space, you might be trying to reach out to people or you know contact them. Who else had that message? I think it was Taurus, or was it Gemini? I think it was Gemini. I can't remember now. 
But anyway, you're trying to make connection with other people. It might have been Aries. I can't remember. I'm sorry. But it's like you're just not getting there. It's because you're in different dimensions. It doesn't mean that one's dimension is better than the others, you know. It just means that you're not on the same wavelength. And maybe you were just, if, if you're trying and trying and trying and it's not working, then, you know, maybe let it go because you're birthing into something new, you know. While a baby's being born, you can't exactly want to tickle its toes and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's just not a conducive sort of thing. Same thing here. Everything in its time, okay. Queen of Pentacles. You are building your stability here. You are building your life. You are building your business. You're building yourself. You might be building with someone. Um, strong possibility of a friend becoming more um, of, of, of like a, a, a lover, like a life partner, maybe. Um, but I see you building quite beautifully and building quite strongly. So just focus on the things that are working for you. Don't get distracted by all sorts of things. It's like it's like there's a lot of brain candy happening at the moment. So it's quite easy for you to get distracted. But don't fall for that. Okay? Keep the focus. Stay the path. Or like, you know, stay the course type of thing. Okay? Do what you need to do. Don't buy into the dramas and things. All right? And maybe see where you're causing drama. Because... Um, you know, maybe you've been a little hard on yourself. You know, breathe a little gently. I'm going to clarify your reading for your Aquarius. And also, if you're open to learning and expanding, you might want to check out, you know, the links for my courses down below in the description for my online courses. You might also want to book yourself a Theta Healing Session. They are absolutely amazingly beautiful. Best thing that you can ever do for yourself. Links down or, or descriptions and everything down below, you know, in the description. Okay. All right, let's clarify your queries. Let's see what we've got there for you for the month of August. You've got the moon energy. This is Pisces energy for that lover's energy. So if you think about it, if you maybe happen to know like a Gemini and you happen to know a Pisces, they're both very dramatic, by the way. Um, they will both say that they're not, but they really are, <laughs> you know. And But... They both have very good hearts and very good intentions and they can like both sort of get quite easily distracted and things like that. So don't try to, you know, you can get very analytical about things sometimes, you know, and you have to figure everything out and you have to break it down in the minutest of details, basically, my beautiful Aquarius. This is a space where you don't really necessarily want to do that. Allow yourself to feel. Let your gut lead you. If your gut says it's yes, follow it. If your gut says no, don't follow it. All right? There is your internal GPS. Your intuition is your GPS. There is a way in which the creator of all, you know, source of all, communicates to you. Listen to it. Trust it. Because by trusting source, you trust yourself because you are source and source is you. Okay? Let your intuition guide you. Let's see what we've got for that world energy. And don't pretend to be all strong and stuff like that. If you need help, ask for it. If you need to cry, cry. Okay? Queen of Swords for the world energy. You might want to refine your approach to things. Okay? So I see that you're kind of building um, some rapport here, maybe even with new people. Um, and, and it seems like, 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 your, like your tongue may have been a little bit sharp here, Aquarius. And that is a, an Aquarius thing. And, and here's the thing to remind you. You know, you might say you're standing in your power when you're speaking your truth and stuff like that, Aquarius. But your tongue is sharp when you are feeling insecure and uncertain because you don't like that. Okay? So maybe you need to turn the mirror a little bit upon yourself. But in for the purpose of... Um, you know, for the purpose of, of overcoming these sort of like subconscious things that, that sabotage you, you know, and the ways in which you sabotage yourself, you know, um, to really be open to understand what those things are, to do that healing. And, and in a space like this, you know, a lot of times you want to figure things out for yourself. It might be a good time for you to get some help on board, you know. And you may have a certain sort of, you know, healer or person or energy or something like that in mind. You're like, oh, not that person. That might be the very person that you need to approach. Because there's a breakthrough that's available for you. If you don't strategize so much and you go with what feels right for you. Okay, you may have been like, and this might not be for all of you, but some of you may have been using somebody just a little bit here or like a dynamic. But if you come from instead of like trying to strategize things so much and you just flow, 
there can be a divine, beautiful, lasting breakthrough for you, yeah, my beautiful Aquarius. That can be to your highest good. So you've been a little bit like all over the place because, you know, you might have been very thinly spread. So use August to just take at least a little bit of time for yourself to do some introspection, my beautiful Aquarius, to, to give yourself the time that you need so you can get some perspective on things that maybe, you know, you, you, you weren't so clear on possibly. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it helps from my heart. I wish August to be the most beautiful month for you. From my heart, I wish you the best month ever. And remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.